Oslo's tram network consists of six lines. The two types of trams you can see currently are the older SL79s and the newer SL95s. New CAF Urbos 100 trams are expected to join the network in 2024. We rode the tram from Jönbantoget near Oslo Central Station to Holbergsplatz on Friday. Then on Saturday we rode from Ackerbrig to Storo and then from Meierstern to Holbergsplatz. So here we are at Jeunebaun Torget, which is the closest stop to Oslo Central Station. We're now getting the tram 18 back to Hol Holzburg Platz, which is where our flat is for the night. On board the tram, I missed the shot coming in, but it's never mind. So here we are, Holberg's class. Some shared tram and bus infrastructure here at Storo. Quite interesting. We've come to kind of the what looks like the edge of the 
the main bit of the city and we've got a ring road there as well. So as it turns out, the National Gallery only opens at 11. So we were gonna go to the gallery and then go to the station to drop off our bags. So we've just done a little swap and now we're going over to the station. And we first need to find a tram, but we suspect this is not actually an active piece of tramway, but a spare loop. Uh, so we're trying to find the nearest actual tram stop. Nope, I was wrong. This is an active piece of tramway. And just to prove it, here is a tram. Which we won't get on because we're nowhere near the stop. There is, however, an, inact an inactive piece of tramway here, and I know this one's inactive because there's no electric wires. Don't know if they're renewing it, or they're taking it away, or they're adding it. No idea. National Gallery now.
We also rode briefly on the T-Bane, Oslo's metro system, which operates MX-3000 trains from Storo to Meyerstrom. So here we are at Storo. There's the ring road behind that little mound, and then you've got the metro here as well. And it also seems like you've got some mainline railway line as well. Anyway, we're looking for the Metro 5, which is the loop line. Um, one in four minutes. just out of the tunnel. I'm quite curious as to what the power supply for Metro Line is. It's no overhead wires and there doesn't seem to be a third rail so I'm guessing it's this thing over here. And I don't know what it is. Very strange, very strange. 